Welcome back. Are you looking for prime property in Jacksonville to expand your business or invest in your future? Our next guest says that he and his firm can help make that happen. They say they have helped businesses and people buy, lease, and manage office retail, uh, industrial, and apartment properties for now 10 years, a decade. Joining us now is Tyler Salduti. He is the founder and CEO of Prime Realty. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. From Thank Manhattan you. down to the First Coast, you've been here for about 10 years. Tell us a little bit about yourself and then what Prime Realty is all about for people who might not have heard of you. Sure. Uh, Prime Realty came out of my passion for uh, helping families build wealth in real estate, helping entrepreneurship thrive in a great city like Jacksonville, and just to create the better commercial real estate firm. So we have gathered a world-class group of entrepreneurs that are helping people, as you said, buy, sell, lease, and manage office properties, retail properties, industrial properties, and apartments. We are Jacksonville-based, again, having worked in New York, Boston, and London. We picked Jacksonville as home because of how it's one of the best cities in the world. Yeah, you said it was your love for the First Coast that made you come down here 10 years ago, and you say all the opportunities that are available in Jacksonville. You love it so much that you started a hashtag and a movement called hashtag Make Jacks Happen. What's that? That's what we're trying to do on a daily basis. So we have uh, a group of people that go out and talk to local businesses, investors, uh, a team that has, uh, we have two Mandarin speaking, team members that are talking to people domestically and internationally about taking their investment dollars and bringing them here to the first coast because of all the reasons I'm here. Uh, it's the accessibility we've uh, talked about. It's the international sophistication that sometimes goes overlooked when you talk about Jacksonville outside of Jacksonville. So, But you say it's very appealing to a lot of people who don't know, who are looking for a great deal, a lot of opportunity. You say it's right here in Jacksonville, you just have to know where to look. So that brings me to my next question. You have some success stories. You want to talk more about your entrepreneurial approach, your non-traditional approach to then selling these types of properties. So we'll put some things on the screen and you talk we, us through this. We did. We brought okay. some examples of the success we're finding here. What we're looking at right now is a rebranding exercise. Uh, you know, you think about buy, sell, lease, and property, and it can be very regimented. Uh, that's not our, our approach. Every property is unique. Every property takes a unique business plan, and this property downtown was a rebranding and, and breathing new life into it. So 100 North Laura, uh, through capital improvements and creating a story and a narrative behind it, we've been able to bring in new tenants. Um, I believe we've got some photographs of an industrial building here in Jacksonville, that was a headquarters for Body Central. Well, it became vacant, and this happens, and we were able to create a vacancy solution that included bringing in multiple tenants and taking a, a headquarters and making it a multi-tenant property. Springfield is a great part of town for repurposing buildings. We've got two pictures here, this being the old Pearl nightclub that uh, the Love Brigade came in and turned it into a, an artist workspace. We're looking at a 1920s schoolhouse on Market Street that we ended up selling residential lofts out of, a schoolhouse into residential lofts. So it, it's pretty neat and exciting to be a part of some of these projects. You can walk outside your doors see, and see. We're familiar with this one right across from the station, it, I, I hate to admit. <laughs> that was Intuition Ale Works, not that we go there that often. But tell us the story behind that. Sure, it's a gentrification process. So it's taking parts of, of town and bringing, as you can see, a local company and a local entrepreneur into the space to create a new vibe. And, sure. and, and I'd say we're two years into a 10-year run of that vibe and that brand of Jacksonville being established. It's pretty exciting to be a part of it. Um, and then where's this? This is not. This is out McClenny. I believe there's someone here that's real familiar with this property, and it it was unfortunately struck with uh, the loss of a big box retailer, and it left a big hole in the center. Um, when Walmart moved out, we had to use our, our relationships and skills to bring in the tractor supply organization as well as a mix of local properties to bring in uh, new life and now it's thriving. Okay, and then this downtown. Uh, there's many different ways to sell a property. This historic building when we sold it was hitting record highs on, on what we were able to get for it through an off-market call, call for offers. And, and that's again where we look at, it's not always just one path to success. We're looking at an apartment complex now that when it was sold, uh, there was seller financing and some other, some other aspects to it that made it a unique sale. Um, just last month, we're, 
doing projects throughout Florida and, and Georgia um, with our proximity to, to the state line here. This was an auction. So there, there's more than one path to success. In this scenario, we did an auction. And the Cambridge Apartments is a project that shows something that we're marketing right now. And we're putting together an investor or an investment group to buy a, an asset here in Jacksonville. So you say people to contact you, either investors looking for that opportunity or people who have properties such as those that they would like to put on the market, maybe think outside the box as far as how to, how to sell it. Very quickly, you say you go all over the United States in our 30 seconds that we have with you left, and you really promote Jacksonville at various conferences. Over a dozen conferences a year, our 20-person our team is there. And we're all over the country. I think next year we'll be in Canada as well. It's a great product to sell. First Coast, Jacksonville, Florida. We couldn't be happier to be here and making it happen. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. We appreciate the time. Thank you. And we'd like to thank Prime Realty for sponsoring this segment. For more information, you can visit primerealtyinc.com or you can call them 904-352-1400. And remember, we didn't get a chance to really go into it, so call them and ask, but they're offering a free broker opinion of value report to commercial property owners through the end of the summer. So free valuation of your property. Just give that number a call and they'll be more than happy to help.